Welcome to Electron Line, and here we're continuing with the story about how stars go through a life cycle. And here we are now at the protostar stage where the protostars really begin to take shape. In the previous video, it was still not clear that there's a clear differential between the disk that was later on going to form the stars, I mean the planets and the moons and everything else around the, around the sun and the star itself. But now at this stage, stage four, about 100,000 years after the collapse of the cloud of dust and gas that eventually formed the star in the solar system, we now can see a very distinct shape, a spherical shaped object that is now the protostar. And we have what we call the protostellar disk that goes out for many, many astronomical units, probably as much as 100 astronomical units out away from the star. Temperature on the surface now reaches about two to 3,000 degrees Kelvin, which is almost as hot as a very cool red star on the main sequence. So this thing is really beginning to glow. And you can see that on, if we were to place this on the, on the HR diagram, it would be kind of out here by now. So what happens is that the colors begin to change. It's getting warmer and warmer and warmer. And you start seeing a very bright reddish color moving away from the right side of the HR diagram. And notice that the luminosity is not changing as much as you would expect. As the temperature of the outside is getting warmer, you would expect the luminosity to go up, but it's also shrinking in size. So the increase in temperature of the surface is being offset by the fact that gravity is making it smaller and smaller and smaller, less surface area for light to be emitted from that. And so it's kind of a wash in the way that the luminosity is not really increasing or decreasing, but staying about the same as the outside is getting warmer, but the size of the protostar is getting smaller. At this point, we would say that the size of the star, the radius of the star would go out to about the orbit of Mercury. Let's say that it's about 50 to 100 million miles across. And if this was the current sun, you can kind of see the relative size of the protostar to the sun, much, much larger, much greater. Of course, at this point, the planet Mercury doesn't exist yet. It is still part of all the dust and gas that's floating around in this huge disk that's rotating around the protostar. Contraction is beginning to slow down. Temperatures at the center are now reaching somewhere upwards of about a million degrees Kelvin. Still not nearly hot enough for nuclear fusion to start, but a uh, million Kelvin is very hot. And so therefore the pressure begins to be very large and the pressures really begin to push back against gravity. Yet gravity will continue to win over pressure and continue to make the star smaller and smaller and smaller, beginning to make the star look more and more like it does today. So on the HR di diagram, you can see that the star is beginning to change in color, luminosity is staying about the same, and eventually it will change direction and head towards the main sequence, depending upon how much mass there is in that particular object in our protostar. If it's a very large protostar, then eventually it will end up on the main sequence over here. If it's a very small protostar, it will end up on the main sequence somewhere around there. So mass really will determine where it will end up on the main sequence and what kind of star it will be, how long it will last during its main sequence stage. But at this point, we have this protostar that's really beginning to look like a star, continuing to collapse, although much more slowly, and now the process is going to slow down. Notice that it only took 100,000 years from the beginning of the collapse of the cloud of dust and gas to where it is today a recognizable protostar with temperatures reaching a million degrees at the center. But now it's going to take millions of years longer before we finally reach the main sequence. Because now the fight is really on between pressure and gravity. And pressure is pushing back. And gravity is slowly but surely bringing the star into the shape that it will be millions of years later. And while well it becomes a main sequence star. So that's stage four. And now you can see that there really is a star-like object up there that slowly begins to be squeezed down into its final shape and form.